Welcome back. It's me, Mandy. I'm with Sunny Health and Fitness, and we're here again on our beautiful piece of equipment, the hydraulic rower, which today we're going to run the gamut with the hydraulic. Get ready. Let's row. We are going to be messing with this hydraulic, and this is right underneath the very edge of the hydraulic rower. So do yourself a quick solid. Make sure that that arrow that says patent right underneath it has an alignment with one. There are 12, 12. By the time we get to 12, it's going to be so brutal, but it's gonna be so worth it. 12 different resistance levels we'll be working in. So we're at one. Let's go ahead and strap our feet in. You wanna get your feet into the cradles and then make sure that you strap in safely across the toe cage on both sides. And then the next piece before we even pick up the handles is put this monitor in distance. Total distance is what we'll be playing with today. We wanna to see just how far we row. Then pick up the handles, crouch in tightly, and we shall get going. Exhale your way for uh, backward, inhale your way forward. Good. This does not feel like one, this feels like 12. So I'm gonna do a quick adjustment and make sure that I am indeed on one. Let's try that again. Oh, that feels much better. So you'll know right away, like, oh my gosh, I already went to 12. No, not the purpose. Okie dokie. So establishing good posture, establishing a really strong row, and then of course, starting to engage through the core. We don't have long on the warm up. We've got about 40 more seconds, so nothing crazy. Obviously, if you need a break during this 15 minutes, feel free to take a quick respite and join me again. Although I am here to work and there will be no breaks for me. I'm okay with that. I did clear that with my manager. <sighs> my manager is me. I just wanna let you know I do talk to myself. This is why I have cats, so that I can make the excuse of, hey, I'm actually just talking to my cats. All right, so. We are officially in the warm up mode and we're moving out of that for our next increase of two. So go ahead and stop where you're at, take a look, move that dial to two, and here we go. Oh, I do feel a difference. It's very slight, which is nice, right? It's incremental. The purpose of this is to have an incremental challenge, but can we keep that same pace? And if you're curious about that, you could move your way over to SPM, strokes per minute, and that will give you a very clear indicator how many strokes you're getting done in a minute. And if that number is going down, you know you're going down. And if that number is going up, you know you're increasing. Although I will say this, the likelihood you're going to increase your strokes as we increase the resistance, let's just say it'd be pretty lofty. Is it impossible? No, I don't think so. We're all different. Recheck in with that breath. Big circular arms here. And we're gonna take a quick stop and pick up that resistance by another amount. Now I'm at three. What's cool about this is on the minute is the same resistance. I did that on purpose when I wrote this workout to make it simple. So say for example, you don't have the internet. Oh, blasphemy, no internet. I can't watch these YouTube videos. Well, you can remember this because it's easy to remember. Ah, oh, bring me anywhere. I can live rent-free inside your head. I won't, don't worry. Good. Recheck in, how are you doing on the legs? How's the even weight energy expenditure in the arms, legs, and then side to side? How am I doing right and left? How can I increase my awareness around the technique so I can get my best work done? Okay, team, I know it's hard to believe, but it's been the minute. So go ahead and back yourself up, increase that resistance. I'm at four and you're at four and it's four minutes in. Amazing. I will admit, I'm starting to feel a little warm. I'm starting to feel a little work here. Yeah. So what I love about this monitor, by the way, 
is it will cycle through the various metrics. We have our time, we have our count, we have our distance, calories, strokes per minute. So it'll kind of toggle to show you where you're at throughout the, the workout. So if you're one of those metrics people, I am. Just call me Metrics Mandy. My strokes per minute right there was 22, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Low intensity. But I can feel the work in regards to the resistance. So even though I'm not getting a lot of strokes, I'm feeling a lot of work in the back and the chest. And of course the shoulders, legs, about 70% of our muscles are used here. Back up, this is our five minute marker, which means we're moving to five. Not even halfway there on the resistance yet, but I'm feeling it. I know I mentioned this, but I'll say it again. Really loving this piece. It was uh, one of those pieces that I was like, okay, all right, this is interesting. And then I got on it and was like, okay, now this makes sense. It does feel very effective. It feels total body. So I would love for you to get in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. How you think about the workout, you know? Let's be friends. No, really, let's be friends. Like, for real, find me, friend me. I'm one of those people that if you find me, I will friend you back. I am not one of those jerks, okay? That's just trying to get all these likes and follows and such. Okie dokie, we're here, six. So officially crossing in to the middle level of resistance, smack dab, right? I don't know about you, but I am really beginning to um, schwitz or sweat or glow, however you want to look at it, but I can feel little beads. So I know this is a good one. When in doubt, if there's nothing to focus on and say you're just getting bored or whatever, return to the breathing. How can you get even more connected to your inhales and exhales and get even more efficient with the work we're doing together. <sighs> Holy cannoli. Hmm, that sounds good right now. I'm starting to feel it. Okay, back yourself up. Move it to seven. Here we go. We're on the latter half of our 15 minutes. <sighs> Check in on your shoulders. I just noticed myself, I'm like, oh, did I love that last row? No, I didn't. I felt a little elevation in my left. I mean, I am being hyper aware of that, mostly because I'm being filmed, right? But also for my own health and wellness, I'm going, okay, longevity wise, am I doing my best work with good posture, good form, good breath, right? Build your house on solid foundation. Don't just move through life without any intention. Beautiful. Because as this gets harder, the technique becomes even more important, right? Okay, good news. We're moving up to eight. Give me this last stroke. Meet me at the back. Move that dial up to eight. If you need to set the handle down to do that, do that instead of what I just did. You saw me kind of fumble around, right? I'm by no means perfect. I'm always a work in progress. And I learn as I go. You know, there's no failure. Failure is just a way of saying I'm learning something new. And becoming a student of something, how can you really utilize that learning technique? Become a student, be a beginner. Really, when I begin something new, it's an opportunity for myself to see what I'm capable of. How much more can I house in this brain, you know? <sighs> Beautiful work. Okay, we're moving into that level nine here. Give me two more strokes. <sighs> One more, meet me at the back. So I mentioned this, you could set that handle down just for safety, then move that hydraulic to nine. Pick it back up and away we row. <sighs> I'm leaning back, but I'm also drawing my abs in and squeezing my butt. 
I mentioned that like 70% of your muscles, right? That, that includes my posterior chain, that includes my glutes, I feel my calves, I feel my hamstrings. Everybody got invited to this party. Sounds like an inclusive party to me, I'm in. <sighs> Beautiful. Oh yeah, I am feeling a totally different workout on this second half for sure. I had a lot more work being accomplished, a lot more musculature being engaged and asked to come to that party. Good, we got time for two more strokes. <sighs> One more stroke. Relax your face, man. Do you look like you need to go to the bathroom? I don't, so there's that. I'm at 10. Okay, wow. Okay, all right, 10. Double digits. Um, it's almost like they were like, oh yeah, she's like talking a lot. <laughs> and that is an indicator, right, that I can stay aerobic. If you can't have a conversation, or at least get a couple sentences out, it's possible you're going anaerobic or without breath. Slow yourself down or maybe stick to 10 on the hydraulic. You don't have to go all the way up to 12. I certainly won't know, you know? So try it and if it's like, I can't even get through the full stroke, well then don't do that. It's not worth it. Stick to a level that feels like something you can attain for the minute. Okay, so we got time for a couple more. On these last two minutes, this hard resistance. Meet me at the back. Move it to 11. Amps up to 11. Name that movie. Here we go. Pull. You can put that in the chat too. In the comment section, name that movie. Drop those shoulders, draw those elbows back. This is where I'm feeling really compelled to be uber focused on that form to be uber focused on the breath. Engage. Excellent. Oh my gosh, 11 resistance feels so fun. It's definitely hard, but it's definitely worth it. I can totally feel, I mean, the next time I'm on this puppy, I'm like, mm, I'm gonna move it to 11. Feels good. <sighs> good team. Relax the chin. Nice, strong posture. Couple more. And then we've got that grand finale. 12. Meet me at the back. Meet me at the club. It's going down. All right. Bam. Oh, yeah. Okay. I feel like little John. Okay. What? I love little John. He's hilarious. Talk about a person that does not take themselves too seriously. So what's cool about that is we still gain a lot, but we still have fun with it, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, once you let the cat out of the bag, she's out. Okay, here we go, push. 15 more seconds. Listen, it's all easy street. We're going down to one at the end of this 12 resistance pull. Woo! Give me one more. Now nah, let's do two more. One more. Amazing. Stay at the back. Move that hydraulic back to one. And we're gonna take it easy breezy, George and Wheezy. It feels like a different row. So what I, I'm gonna say this again. I'm really loving this because I feel like I have four different pieces of equipment in one piece. So take a moment, make that full expression of the stroke happen. Because we've got time to slow things down. How did that feel for you? Where did you feel it the most? Another thing you can put in the comment section, right? So tell me, I don't know about you, but my biceps, my back, my quads, everybody's like, hey girl, what's happening? How are we feeling? Let's take one more stroke, please. Beautiful, okay, come to the front, set the handles down, extend your knees just a little bit, take your feet out of the foot cradles, and then do yourself a quick solid. Go to distance, check out what number you got. So if you set that at the beginning like I did, we're looking for a number maybe in the thousands. For me it was 1626, 
So maybe utilizing this number for another, maybe you do this again on Wednesday or whatever. Do it again, see if you can beat that number. I love progress. Let me know how things are going for you. Let's take a deep breath in together. Sit super tall, reach up. On the exhale, bring your hands right in front of your heart. Do it again, deep breath in. And exhale, bring your hands right in front of your heart. One more time, inhale up. Three is the magic number in comedy. It's also the magic number in rowing. It's not true, but let's just pretend. Bring the hands back in front of the heart. Slide the hands behind you. Open the chest cavity. Drop the chin to the chest. Walk the ear to one shoulder. Just noticing if you feel any tension there. And then walk the ear to the opposing shoulder. Come back through the center. Clasp the hands. Turn the palms to face forward and dome your back. Send your tailbone between the heels, feet flat on the floor. You'll feel that deep. Um, it's it's a extension of, or flexion of the spine rather. So you're gonna feel that stretch from each vertebrae. And then rise up, that is it, that is all she wrote. I hope you had a fabulous workout. Get in the chat, we wanna know what's going on. I'd love to hear from you. This is Mandy, this is our hydraulic rower here at Sunny Health and Fitness. Find us, friend us, and hit that bell, baby. Peace.